So, did you know that there are thousands of Americans each year who renounce their US citizenship? And did you know that the US government publishes the names of the individuals who do this on a quarterly basis? Yep, you can go and look them up. So why would US citizens renounce their citizenship, are you asking? One of the main reasons is taxes. Americans who are living abroad need to continue filing taxes in the US no matter where they're living. In some cases, they need to report foreign bank account balances and even ownership in foreign companies. These obligations can lead to hefty accounting fees, potential fines, a lot of mental stress, especially if you're not planning on returning back to the US. But renouncing US citizenship isn't a small decision. Usually it's quite an easy decision for accidental Americans who were already born overseas and aren't planning on ever living in the US. And it's also an easy decision for those that have already been overseas for quite some time and already might have another passport. You also need to consider that there's actually a fee attached to renouncing US citizenship. It's $2,350 at the moment. It might be reduced used down to $450. I've recently had a few US clients who are living overseas and whose US tax bill is bigger than the cost of a potential Caribbean citizenship. Keep in mind that this whole system is very unique to the US and no other Western country like the UK, Australia, Canada applies this sort of system.